We never been to Boston before. That was a mistake. <clears throat> I like that there's so many of them. I think they're extremely creative. They all play different instruments and they're very talented. Their music is both relaxing and invigorating. It's inspirational and it has so much soul. Well, the first time I actually ever saw them was two nights ago in Northampton at the Iron Horse. And it was amazing, it's such a good show. One of the things I really like about them is the economy. Uh, and that's kind of a weird thing. So the people who are, who are playing the horns, when they're not playing the horns, they'll be singing gang vocals. Same and like when the people who are doing the strings, when they're not playing the strings on a bow, they're plucking. You know, you know, at the same time that the guitars are doing their thing. They've got two drummers, which I think like, who has two drummers? Is this, this is Toby's side. Toby. 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 Toby and Alex is Alex is here. Yeah. No, we're missing some. Okay. Okay. No, that's 11. Yeah. Yeah. All right. yeah. One, two, three! Da 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 We're Typhoon. Uh, we are a rock band from Portland, Oregon. Oh, what am I waiting for? A spell to be cast, for it to be broken. At the very last, some wall goes from my past, come to split me wide open. Oh, if I bandage my eyes, will you press in my head? A small, simple token. I was born deaf for us, you never spoken. I'm hearing these voices in the dial tone And they come to me now, though I just remember my phone They say you want to hear something that you already know If it comes from above, or this one comes from below It says you are sleeping together, but you will die Superhero. Now I'm living the corpses of the lives I let go Oh, I know, you all know how these things start to show I have been trying to make myself better So I can fare the fair foul weather I write a song like a prison letter I write a song maybe to make me feel better It won't break free my fetters What happened before I began making memories at the age of four? Well, I learned to use words, I got jealous and bored. Soon I'll be passing out cold on the kitchen floor. Soon I'll be passing out cold on the kitchen floor. Singing, when am I gonna feel better? I said, when am I gonna feel better? I said, when am I gonna feel better? I have been patient for a long time now. I've been a patient for a long time now. I've been a patient for a long time now. I've been a patient for a long time now. And I will never be a younger man. Oh, my God. 
body be broken Oh, oh, I will be good though my body be broken Oh, 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 oh. The shows have been be the best shows of any tour we've been on, um, and I appreciate that because it makes it worth it. Um, people have been coming out, and they've been very supportive and enthusiastic. I want to do this first. Yeah. Can you name all of your band members? <laughs> not, I, not on the spot. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's got to be hard. But I mean, how do you no, wrangle I can, all I can of do them. Um, let's, let's hear it. Can it's, you do it? it's kind of a name. Okay, uh, I do it in alphabetical order. Here first we go. name: Alex, Dave, Devin, Eric, Jen, Peter, Paul. He's our engineer. Mary. Uh, yeah, Peter. <laughs> you don't have a Mary. Uh, you threw me off. So where Sorry. are we? Sorry. Yeah. Uh, Peter, Paul, Paul. Uh, Ryan, Shannon, Toby, Tyler, and myself. And then all told, did I miss one? I think I missed one. Oh, well. Sorry. We won't use that if you did. So, and then all, I mean, a lot of you guys play multiple instruments. All told, how many instruments and pieces are we talking about? Um, all, all told, it's the 11 people plus a couple of us play multiple instruments. So probably somewhere like 20, 25. I just called to tell you, I just called to 
say, Lord, call your mistakes. You were my inspiration. And it wasn't all we hoped for. But we shake it off and we say, Here's your yellow ribbon. I am your consolation. I was born in September, and if I die today, there's no other regrets you. Some things I can't explain. It's a slow descent. It's a lot this place. Every goddamn day. No matter where you go, then I will follow. Then I will follow. You are my only hope. It's the much worse all that I know. And she's how it goes. phrases that you see a lot when it comes to to your music is personal right personal. This is, you yeah know I mean? totally. this is a very personal album and you have and you have this incredible personal backstory which yeah. is brought up in a lot of the write-ups on this album talking about that there's a, a strong strain of this um, very serious medical situation that you have sure in sure and and yeah and that comes up and I and I think I mean that does two things it's it's I think it's interesting for people to, to hear that backstory and to know kind of the, the romantic details of my battle with what are the illness. Basics? What are the basics of it? Um, I was bitten by a bug that carried a bacteria and it sort of like derailed my organs. Um, but uh, I don't, I honestly don't try to dwell on that too much. It was more of um, a, a psychological shift that happened when I got sick. Um, and I see this, this perspective in a lot of people, even so-called healthy people, and that is, um, you know, you start questioning ideas of health or even knowing, like, how, how, did, how do I empower myself to a sense of, you know, being alive and, and healthy because, well, you know, life is filled with sorrow and pain and you can't consider these things as sickness just because they hurt kind yeah. of thing. Um, how old were you when you got sick? I was, I was, it's a long, I mean, it's a long trajectory. I, I got bit when I was 12, um, 12 or 13, so kind of coupled with puberty to make for very interesting, like, <laughs> a very formative, <laughs> formative years. Um, a very unique brew. Yeah, and and now I have a transplant, um, and and so there's you know I have to take a lot of drugs to 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 keep that intact. Um, is that hard on the road? I mean, like given your the profession that you've chosen, does that make it harder? The only the only real difficult the difficulty is that I notice that's different from just being at home is. Um, I'm on immunosuppressants for the transplant, and what happens is it basically means I, I, I'm purposefully wiping out my immune system with these yeah. drugs so that it doesn't reject the organ. Um, I've had three different viruses on this trip. I think I'm getting enough. Watch out, I'm getting another one <laughs> Just going to back away a little bit here. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's been... So that, that, that gets a little old, but yeah. I mean, it's nothing, nothing I can't handle. Health just goes up and down. Inside the cabin, my sister tried to call like the loon Her hands kept tight up against her mouth As the fireflies became visible In the failing summer light, a sparkle in my head I went after them I wandered down into a quiet place Where the grass grew tall as it met the lake There was a different bug, must have bit my leg Though I never saw him
I cried in my room, my closest friend, the one that I confided to. I wanted her, but she wanted you. I was sick in bed, I could barely move. And then as my body turned against itself, I prayed for death that I'll come back to be anyone else. Sickness from within myself You never loved me like the way you love anyone else You dig a hole, dig it deep enough The truth buries itself, it buries itself And I, I'm just all my own family You guys are you guys are at the point where you have actual fans, which yeah, must be. Weird. Is it weird? It is weird because uh, there are people that I don't know that listen to our, to our music. Yeah, you, <laughs> you, I mean, have you ever been like stopped in the street by like somebody or anything like that? Is it has it gone to that point yet? Not really? No. Yeah, yeah. No. Um, especially not not outside of my hometown. And, yeah. Um, and so that's good. I, I don't really want that sort of nuisance. But um, but it is. I'm really tickled to come to a show and and see all these strangers. That seem to like that have a connection with our music. You see them like singing along, like in yeah, the that's crowd. that's You're weird. Like, that's, what that's, is happening? That's a good like, feeling. Um, I just was writing though, this especially down since in my most of my lyrics are very like I get people saying really, really dark, like perverse things. Like they're singing <laughs> with me. Like everybody knows this is the end. There's a lot of things I'm happy about right now. Um, one, one we're here. Two, the Bright Music Hall is an excellent venue. Thank you for having us. Um, Almost Devin's birthday. Shh. Shh. It's almost, he can hear me in the monitor. It's almost Devin's birthday. Um, we'll, we'll deal with that when we come to it. This is an older song. Can we hold out the summer again? Can we ever 
has occurred to me that I spent my whole life just storming over her. Oh, oh, oh. The things that I could have been, I could have been a gold digger, I could have been a gold stinger, I could have been a little bigger, I could have been a ringer, I could have been a pop singer, I could have been a pop singer, I could have been a pop singer. But what I am is the silence. I think the erosion, as so many people reference, of the music industry is actually been beneficial for weeding out the people that are kind of into it for all the wrong reasons. How much does it? How much does a does a show actually generate for the band? And if you guys split that between, say, ten or fifteen people, that's hard to do. Uh, but if they can make it work, then I think I'd love to support them. In that. And it's also beautiful music. So. We're both from Colorado, and the music is insane out there. It's you drive 50 miles to go to one venue and pay a lot yeah. of money to see one concert, and it's here. It's like okay, well, I was here at this venue two nights ago. Like it's yeah. so affordable. It's so interesting. There are so many cool little record labels around here. They're authentic. They're talented in both writing the music and playing it. Um, there, there's no lip syncing. The smaller venues tend to promote these bands, um, whether it's before they make it big or whether they're already really popular, but just because, you know, it's, it's not like those big arenas of, of the more mainstream artists, it's, um, it's what's more honest about music. Thank you.
beginning there was one source of light We would die and come back every night As a woman showing off her thighs Just a little bit at a time In the beginning, everyone bowed their heads toward the light They would dance and eat their friends alive They were more happy then, but this was similar to me. Now we all play, we are the moth, we are the flame We were aware of the danger, but we could not keep away My eyes are open My father pointing up at the stars I ask, do you think there's love or not? It's a love like ours But here I see a lot left on In a house like mine and out in the lawn There's a man like you and a smaller one I looked in the mirror, I had seen myself Oh, I know how the universe it shows itself It's always getting bigger like you I was told that I'd grow up to be myself I thought I would get bigger
there's certainly there's certainly a, a rivalry between Seattle and, and Portland in yeah. terms of music, and it's silly, and it mostly is bred by um, fam familiarity and and um, in ways that they're similar rather yeah. than ways they're different. But people try to play up that, that they're different. Um, I. I moved to Portland not for music. I went there for school, and it was close to my hometown of Salem, Oregon. Um, I, I guess I got lucky that I landed in such a, a, a musically um, prolific city. And um, it does, like you said, it has it has everything as far as genre is concerned. It doesn't seem to be um, catering to one kind of music, but there does seem to be something in the water where everyone wants to be in a band. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, I try to ask people in Portland, like, are you, are you in a band? And I, I've found like, half of Portland's in your band. I know. <laughs> we're trying to we're actually trying to reduce the, the number of bands by just doing like a on the bus approach. <laughs> it's like a commuter commuter approach. Yeah. The van. Oh, so is anybody here? Did anyone here donate to our Kickstarter? Oh, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. All of you are invited to a tour to the van afterwards. You can all. What's 50 more? Um, no, really, if you want to come see, see the fruit of your, well, your money, and <laughs> thank you, thank you. We, uh, we couldn't have gotten out here without your help, so thank you. And I'm very glad we did get out here. The fruit of your money? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just learning about public speaking. Discarded as long as I'm alive, I finish what I started. It's what I started. So go strong and hardened. You own a small patch of land outside of the town, you'll grow a garden. And after I departed, well, you will never know if your love was unconditional. You don't have to love me
Thank you, good night. Oh, really quick, I want to say thanks to WGBH Boston for filming and recording and just, and also to say that I've been listening to the world with Marco Werman for a long time now. And it's cool to be in the city where that's taped. So, hey, my, Marco Werman, everybody. You're very young. This is really our last song. We've had a hell of a time. Back down, 
should I would be happy when nothing at all that shits and eats from the same end You won't remember the trials, no, the tenderness will become a succession of breath Feel most flying toward it. Well, if you want something, you pay for it. You will pay for it. I got out in my corner. Follow the swarm from the dark out into the hard light. Well, if you want something, you raise the price. 